Improvising a solo wouldn't be complete without talking about improvising over ballads because it's not the same as a medium tune or an up tune. It's not the same at all. In fact, medium and up tunes aren't the same. Um, and this is something I noticed that in, in uh, music school was not talked about at all. It was the age or something. You know, everyone wanted to come in and just be the shreddiest, badass for player that was on the in the school and and play real fast and be real macho because you know we're all 19 20 years old um you know it takes a, some sensitivity and some maturity to play slow um but ballads are very important they add variety to the set they appeal to um a different audience uh, they give your chaps a chance to rest and they make the rest of the songs uh, uh, a nice contrast if you go from like a ballad to an uptune it makes it sound even faster and livelier than it already is by contrast so I have eight rules uh, uh, or of uh, soloing over ballads First one is the maturity. Number one, grow up. You're going to have to show your sensitive side and um, not worry about shredding and being macho. Number two is don't get lost. The form of the song will take a lot longer to go through. And one of the many reasons it's harder to play slow than it is fast is that you can get lost in the form uh, you have to know where you are in the song and you have to literally get lost to know where you are period uh, it's it's going to take a long time to get to the beginning of the chorus to the end of the chorus number three you want to have a legato uh, lyrical style you want to play simply and try to make up some very simple melodies Number four, you want to use a lot of space. You want to lay off entire measures at a time. You don't have to worry about grabbing every single uh, chord change. In fact, you shouldn't, because then it'll, it'll tend to get bogged down in the details. And the whole thing together will just be boring. Number five, don't worry about sticking in some flashy quick runs. Those are going to come. Somewhere in the soul you'll find a space to put something in there. Just relax, play lyrically, and with a lot of contrast. And somewhere in there you'll be able to zip out a run. Number six, plan on playing one chorus. Two, it'd be a lot. Uh, it can be done, but you, you should plan on playing one. And if you go over one, if you're really making a statement and you're and you're trying to reach a top a climax of the of the solo and you're not quite there yet, you can go like four measures into the, the second chorus and then hand the solo off to the next guy there. You'll see this is something that Miles Davis would do occasionally. It's okay to do that. Um Number seven, use a lot of dynamics. Quiets and softs, and then louds, staccato and, and legato. Mostly legato, though. Um, a lot of emotion there. Number eight, remember, you're trying to make people cry. It's a ballad. It's either going to be real sentimental, or it's going to be sad. So try to play with their emotions. That's what you want to do. Okay, I'm going to play a solo now over body and soul, and I'll show you where these different parts are. Thank you. 
Uh, I'm not saying that that was my best solo on that song. My best solo on that song was probably in, uh, that I have recorded as one of my recitals. But anyway, um, I was trying to go down the list and get all the things in just to show you. The other thing I would say is when you're when you uh, playing on the on a set on a gig, I think it's easier to do ballads um, to, to draw that emotion that you need. You know the excitement of the gig and whatever. It just seems that for me anyway, you can play ballads easier and, and put more emotion into them when you're um, doing them live. Uh, when you're practicing them, it's, it's harder. It's hard to do any song and make it fresh if you repeat it uh, many takes or many sessions. But I think that's especially hard with ballads. And that they're really fresh when you do them live. Uh, I'm going to maybe do a... Uh, next video, I'm going to take this same solo and add comping to it using some of the methods I talked about in the previous videos that I got an amazing response with I didn't expect at all um, thousands of views on those so thanks for listening and I hope it's helping you play ballads better and uh, I apologize for my lame bass playing on that song <laughs>